just bear with me. It's an, a visual metaphor. It's an analog. It's an analogy of what is meant by the way we look at things using quantum physics. See, we see it as cubes, and it appears to us as cubes. But because it really isn't cubical, it quantum leaps. That's a quantum leap you're experiencing. You've just been given an experiential lesson in quantum physics. You now know what a quantum leap is all about. A quantum leap is a jump from what it was to what it could be without going in between. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, that's called quantum leaping. Now, some of you are going to start playing with that and try, oh, well, I can see it this way. Yes, you can. Because your mind can play with this. But I haven't re reached the lesson I want to show you yet. Seeing it as a cube, you can definitely see it quantum leaping. I'm going to show you how to make the cube disappear altogether. In order to do that, I've got to start with a blank screen. Now, I want you to relax, take a deep breath. This is your first lesson in magic, so relax, take a deep breath. And I want you to focus your mind on the blue square. Everybody see that blue square? It's blue, it's square, it's flat, it's pasted against the red background. Okay? There's a blue triangle. Also flat, pasted against the red triangle. And pasted against the red background, sorry. And here's another triangle, blue, pasted against the red background, okay? And there's a blue trapezoidal piece, pasted against the red background, okay? Another blue trapezoidal piece, another one, and another one. You see, there's a blue, flat, Navajo rug design pieces pasted against the red background. Focus on the blue pieces Paste it against the red background. Stay with the blue pieces on the red background. Watch the blue pieces. See the blue pieces, the glowing red aura around them. Blue pieces against the red background. Glowing red Navajo rug, flat pattern. There he is. No cube. Ah, 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 you said cube. And suddenly it became a cube again. Did you get that? There's more here. There's even a message of politics in here. <laughs> you want to know what that message is? Notice when I said the word cube, how the cube snapped into the picture again. And the hard part, for you hard, seeing blue pieces on a red background kind of disappeared. You had to train your mind to get there, but then suddenly I said, cube, and it's gone. Think about how it is when you learn something new at our age, whatever age you're at, Anything, according to Bruce, anything above six, right? Okay. You're already past, you're over the hill. Six, that's it. So at our age, learning something new is not as easy anymore. And if we have been taught to see this as cubes, and we play with cubes a lot, blue pieces on a red background ain't our cup of tea. It's very hard to do. We now know how to do it, but it requires some effort on our part. Think about a dialogue with somebody who doesn't even speak your language, describing to you their experience of life, and your instincts tell you, your instincts tell you, your sense of what you know is real tells you, this guy or this gal or that person is a crook, a murderer, a thief, a conniver, blah, bad, bad, bad. And now you can understand where the fear of the other comes into being. Because we've been trained, fear others. Especially if their skin is orange, red, blue, copper tone, black, yellow, purple, violet. <laughs> the only skin we accept is white. But actually our skin isn't white at all. It's a weird pink but we call ourselves whites. I don't know why we call ourselves whites. I mean, you know, there's nothing white about our skin at all, but never mind. Anyway, you can see what happens. We get caught in a matrix, an interest matrix, 
which tells us that the other is got to be, we, we can't, it's hard to see the blue piece of the red background of the other, because all we keep seeing is ourselves and anti-ourselves, something which is not ourselves. That's our prejudice. That's our, that's our way of thinking, which keeps us blinded from seeing the other. So we tend to misunderstand anything that doesn't fit into our own matrix. What I'm trying to explain to you is it's not inevitable, and you have the possibility within you to transform all that, but it's probably as difficult to do as it was to see blue pieces on a red background. But I'll guarantee, practice it for a while, and you'll start seeing blue pieces on the red background more and more. You can do it. You have the power within you because it's all within your clouds of possibility, and those clouds of possibility are not fixed. You change their boundary conditions, and it changes the way those appear. This is your role. This is your game. This is your drama king, your drama queen. This is the dramatic role you play as an observer creator. You bring your experience into existence. What does it look like when you're not doing that? It's really a mystery, and no one really knows what's going on. So, quantum physics indeed includes you, and uh, who you are is a mystery. <laughs>